forward to this. What's up everyone, how's it going? So in this video, it's gonna be a little bit different from my other ones, but in this one, I wanted to show off the brand new mod that came out from the team called Innovated Modding Crew, and this is the Battle Over Coruscant mod, and they did an excellent job with this, so I really wanted to share it off with you guys in case you haven't seen it already. It's been out for a while, but it recently got updated to where it is working with the latest update, so it wasn't working for quite a few months, unfortunately, but they just now re-released the new patch for it, so it works completely fine, though I have had some glitches with a few things, but overall, it works pretty well, and there's a lot of cool features that came with this. The main feature being that this map is a reskinned Ryloth, and honestly, it looks exactly how Coruscant looked in the movies. I don't know how they got the texture to look so perfect, but they did an excellent job on that part. And not only did they reskin the Ryloth planet itself, they also added a ton of Republic Venators, as well as a couple Lucre Hulk class droid control ships, and then a lot more Providence class carriers, those are the CIS ships. And it feels like an all-out battle. I don't know how they actually got those extra ships in there because I have made some mods myself and I'm not that good at it, so they must be pretty talented to be able to do that because the current game doesn't let you modify too many things. You can only use assets that are currently in the game. You just have to replace a bunch of stuff. So yeah, props to those guys for going all out on this mod. And also, there is new retextured vulture droids to make them accurate to Revenge of the Sith. Now, DICE did reskin a few vehicles already in the game with the last update. I believe they reskinned the AAT and the MTT. I might be forgetting one more vehicle, but I do believe that those are the only two. And so hopefully they do look into making new skins for the Vulture Droids, as well as the other CIS ships as well. But they look really good. They look exactly how they do in Revenge of the Sith once again. And also another thing they did, they also made Anakin Skywalker's Starfighter, which is replaced by Yoda's Interceptor. But a cool feature I'd like to see implemented for this is actually taking Anakin Skywalker's voice lines from his just normal infantry and then replacing Yoda's voice lines in the Starfighter. I think that'd be pretty cool. I don't, I'm pretty sure you can do that. All you have to do is take the asset number and copy it over and just replace Yoda's voice lines with it and I'm pretty sure it works. Because right now you cannot import new assets like new sounds or new meshes or whatever. You can only replace things that are in the game. So I think they should be able to do that and I think that'd be a pretty cool feature. And also, I'd really like him to add in Obi-Wan Starfighter at some point, because I think all they would have to do is replace another Starfighter with Yoda's and then retexture that once again. I think that'd be a pretty cool feature to add in, just to give some variety, so some people like Obi-Wan Starfighter better than Anakin's and then the other way around. Also, there is 20v20 player count, but I do believe if you get the Arcade Improvements mod, that mod allows you to go up to 25v25, but I'm not sure if it actually works for this Starfighter map. I haven't tested it out and it's kind of hard to tell just because 20v20 and 25v25 are pretty similar. And then the last feature I wanted to go over is there's an actual custom portrait in the menu so it doesn't say it's Ryloth, it actually says it is the battle over Coruscant. But that's pretty much all I have to talk about this mod. I'm going to let some gameplay play on for just a few minutes so that you can hear it with the sound and everything. But honestly, good job to the innovative modding crew for making this mod. It's probably one of my favorite mods that has ever come out just because of how cool it is and how unique and interesting it is. And they must have taken a lot of time to create this. But that is pretty much going to do it. So let me know down in the comments below what you guys think about this mod. And I hope you enjoyed the video and enjoy the rest of the gameplay. If you did, be sure and leave a like on the video. And if you're new, subscribe for Star Wars news, gameplay, and more. And I'll hopefully see you all in the next one.